everybody! Welcome to Kajari's Curious Crafts! So excited to make this Feywild bridge tonight with you guys. It'll take very little time, I promise. We'll be out of here by 8 o'clock. We can all go watch Matt Mercer on Fireside Chat. It'll be awesome. Anyway, here we go! Let's get started! <laughs> Good day! Welcome back! All right, today we're gonna make this Feywild bridge, and uh, this this really I've had this for a long time. I enjoyed making it. I'm actually going to improve upon this this model here. Um, it'll be similar to this, but wider. I wanted to make it so that two uh, minis of medium size could go across. And fun fact! Ah, uh, I wasn't prepared. <laughs> Fun fact, if you uh, are an adventurer and you cross this bridge in my Feywild, you will be on the trail to um, Shademark, which is a, a name <laughs> used by the uh, illustrious Mr. Mercer in the Tal'Dorei campaign and in his know. Feywild. Who joined? Billy Lewis for being a patron. <gasps> Billy! Oh, you're the best. <laughs> Love you so many. Okay, so that's awesome. I'm excited about that. Now I can't talk. <laughs> I'm so excited I can't talk. I know, that's how that happens. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, let's start with the um, the supplies list, right? Uh, tools or materials? Oh, good call. Uh, tools. Tools it is. Tools. Tools it is. All right. So in no particular order, of course, you'll need your glue. And that includes uh, a glue gun, which we're going to use tonight, but some of this probably would be better if we did it with the, the craft bond. Um, we also need, oh, and I actually remembered clear glue sticks. Uh, you will need clothespins. These make awesome um, supports. You'll see when I uh, put the slats across the bridge how that supports the uh, holding it in place as you glue. Uh, four of them. Or you could probably get away with two, but four would be better. Um, you'll also need uh, a box cutter or a Dremel. Uh, the Dremel, I would use the cutting bit, but um, I have found more success making notches like we did for the dwarf hut using the uh, box cutter. So I'm gonna use the box cutter tonight. <laughs> were, uh, were any treants hurt in the making of this video? No <laughs> treants were hurt in the making of this video, I promise. Hi Rylan, hello Twisted. Hey guys, welcome to the, to the stream. I'm so excited you're here. Yay, <laughs> I like friends. Uh, you'll also need a pair of uh, heavy-duty uh, wire cutters. I, I always call these wire cutters, but really, I've been using them more for cutting twigs lately. <laughs> I went out into the backyard, got about four mosquito bites, and uh, cut up a bunch of twigs, which we'll go over in the in the materials list. Um, so, uh, these things. <laughs> Those. <laughs> Those things. I went over that. Uh, and a paintbrush, and this is something I forgot to put on the list that I put on the stream, but painting it is optional. Um, my Fay Wild Bridge, the one I had previously made, all this wood here was, actually you're still saying the purple glow, aren't you? A little bit. I did the purple Fay Wild yeah, lighting. Yeah. There's, I'll, there's I'll, a bit I'll switch a, it. There's a bit of a purple tint to her board if you can't tell. I'll switch it. Look, look, ta-da! There. Oh. All right, we're back. Okay. Um, so it was it was like a natural inside of a tree color. What is that like a like um, a beigeish the inside? Yeah, tan or beige. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of foot travel has gone across this bridge, and then murky waters below have probably trekked some water up on it. So I wanted it to look a little uh, warm. So I actually stain painted it, and I'll go over that process tonight too. Um, a, a brown color. So you just kind of need a brown color that you want to put with your. Um, in your Feywild. Well. It depends on the age of the tree. It, that's true. <laughs> that's very true. The, it could be uh, darker or lighter, and, and it depends on the kind of tree too, I'm sure. 
Um, all right, so now we're on to my readers, of course, because I'm old. Awesome. Now we're on to the. Let me put this on this side, right? Because that's where the list yeah, yeah, is, all, right here. Yeah, all your text skip is on the left. Okay, so this is what I did. I went out in the yard this weekend and I cut a bunch of twigs from uh, branches that had already fallen from the trees. Like I said, no trees were harmed. No live trees. No live trees <laughs> were harmed. I mutilated their corpses. Right, okay. But uh, <laughs> what I wanted to find, again, uh, like with the dwarf hut, I wanted to find quarter inch wide and uh, eighth inch wide sticks for this. Um, for the base, I mean for the railing, you could probably do something a little thinner like this one. Not quite a sixteenth, I don't know what that measurement is. I'm goofy. There we go. What did you do? I didn't switch to material. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now now it's right here? Now it's right here. Okay. Alright, so twigs. Yeah. Eighth inch or uh, and both. <laughs> and quarter inch. Okay, so twigs. And let's see. Also, you will need some moss, and that's to run up the side, like I did here. Not a lot. Oh, yeah. And again, I've used, um, I have here the um, the leftovers, once again, from the Shambling Mound. I, I collect uh, all of it and save it, so I have that to use as well. Um, this is a, I'll move this, this is a, a silk flower, kind of a ferny, bushy thingy, I don't know, some plant thing that they had at Hobby Lobby. I used a coupon, and I liked it better for the, what I'm going to make in two weeks, the, uh, the, the Mushroom Village of uh, Shademark, because I didn't like the ones I had used, and I'll show you. I used these, and they're too green. They're too bright. Shademark is <laughs> in a... They're plastic. They're, well, <laughs> yeah, they're too plastic, and they're just too green and vibrant. I want, I'm going to change... Uh, the colors of uh, Shade Merc to more of a Feywild color. I'm gonna go with purples and darker. Yeah, the middle of the Shade Merc doesn't the Shade Merc. Something, yeah. Well, it's in the it's in the Feywild. Oh. oh. So it's already there. <laughs> so I think I thought it needed darker colors. So because of that, I found this, and I'm gonna use it on the bridge as well to sort of connect. Right. <laughs> Bridges <laughs> connect. <laughs> I crack myself. See, and the, uh, it's falling apart. This didn't glue on very well. So, anyway, we're going to use the, the, a little bit of this as well. And if you don't have that, it doesn't really matter. Moss is really what make, makes it, I think, because it grows up from the water. Uh, also, I have some of this sheet moss that I used once again from the Shambling Mound. And this is uh, preserved, like I said before, during the Shambling Mound stream. You don't want to just go outside and pluck it off trees unless you're prepared for an invasion of who knows what bugs coming down there. Okay. Also, paint. And again, I just chose this uh, real brown. And I'm going to water this down to make it more of a stain. And I'll show you that process also. Okay, so let's get started. And I say let's get started. Guess what? I already got started. <laughs> I have cut, and this is actually enough to make two. But I have cut a bunch of quarter inch. I had one hole in here. Here it is. Uh, twigs to be about two and a half inches wide and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split them and I say I'm going to I already did because that's long and tedious and we're gonna go watch fireside chat after this okay so we're gonna split these logs just like we did for um, parts of the oh. okay here's your safety tip <laughs> oh safety tip that's a good thing to have on screen, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Drake. You're the best. I try. Okay, so we're going to split that and again, just make a notch at the top, right down the center, push down, safety first, and safety you've split the log in half, making two flat surfaces on which our travelers can travel. Now, some of the sticks have these little, here's one a little bump on them I'm, I'm leaving it for now because it'll lay across the, the beams like this and so that just gives it a little bit of character underneath so I left that um, but if you find that it's not going to match uh, where the beams come in the, the supports you can always just chip that off okay so I've got a bunch of these and what I did was I lined them up I wanted my bridge to be about six inches long this one is also about six inches so i guess that's the, my thinking this whole time uh, this i think will actually make 
a little bit bigger because the supports underneath don't go quite to the end and that so that the uh, bridge will actually meet the ground like that for our uh, adventuring party so we don't have to jump <laughs> okay so you'll also need and these are not too tricky to find believe it or not um, some curved pieces uh, for your support now I just found a bunch of sticks this is this is only like a third of what I actually found I just bundled this for the purpose of showing you what I was what I was bringing for the materials um, but I just went out and found a bunch of kind of curved sticks and I cut two that more closely matched for the, the base like that and uh, and then you're gonna need two more thinner ones for the railing so I don't know if you can see Drake is that maybe I should put it on a paper towel so they can see the the, the difference in the <laughs> yeah 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 so that's that would be the base whoops and then these are the railings for it they're just a little bit thinner those will, those will go on almost last so we'll just set those aside um, then you'll also need four pieces that are about two two inches long and uh, this depends on how uh, where you want your braces here and if you're gonna use a really long curved bridge you might want actually three on each side so six total I, I did mine so that they're gonna be about like that now, I've already notched these but I will show you the process for for notching I need to make two more or I need oh, to make yeah, yeah. four more so like that um, oh. I know it's. No, it's I, I, I the don't forget stuff. I'm sorry. I have a lot to remember. You could write stuff down, or maybe oh, there's yeah. a device on which you could place things to help you remember. Okay. A sarcasm. A sarcasm. <laughs> Moms are good. I for fixed that. it. Thank you. Real thankful. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. What? They couldn't hear me. I have to repeat everything now. Yeah, the, you were just silent the whole time. You had to redo everything. Oh. No, I'm kidding. Uh, the camera was. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's annoying. Okay. All right, so uh, this is, I've set it up now. I've already notched these, but I will show you how I did that. So uh, no one has to freak out about learning how to do that if you didn't see my log cabin tutorial last week or the week before. I'm going to notch the notch. Who's there? Oh, uh -huh, really? Who <laughs> there? I love that show. Okay, so in this case, um, the not the notch, notch, notch. This is gonna make you crack up every single time, yeah, Drake, it is. isn't it? Okay. I'm gonna spew my drink. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't quite do that two inches. My uh, eyeballing it. I am no dwarf. <laughs> oh no, it's too short. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> what I'm, gonna, work with it. I'm not gonna use this. I already have them cut out. But what I what I did was I put the stick exactly how I wanted it to where I wanted it to appear and then I just marked it where I wanted the notch to be once I got once I got that marked then I would notch it and again <clears throat> safety first uh, make sure that you always push away from this is not easy to do from your fingers I'm just gonna have to do it I didn't bring the band-aids down <laughs> yeah. Jamie have 911 on speed dial. All right, so we're gonna notch that like, like dish. Like dish. Like dish. Okay. Ta-da! It doesn't have to be a major one. It's just to, it's just to hold it in place while you're gluing it, so you don't misjudge where you want it, etc. Uh, we don't have to save these little crumbles. I have enough of those. <laughs> okay. So this is the one I didn't want. It's too, it's too low. But guess what so I did? Scared for you. He was so scared for me. Oh, baby brother, I'm okay. Silver wind. Back in the day, I had two thumbs. <laughs> yeah, two thumbs up. Okay, so these I wanted the long end the other way. So I totally messed that up, didn't I? If you'll notice, these are opposite. Why? Well, one side's this way. The other side's the opposite. Oh, doesn't happen. I learned that the, <laughs> the hard, hard way. way. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, put them together, and I was like, oh, these match. It looked like this. 
my dish. It looked like that or something. I, I messed it up completely. So I had to re redo it. <clears throat> you want a, you want the railing or the, the these supports on the center and these on the outside. So I that's see. what I'm talking about. I see. Yeah. I was so, about to say, are you sure you're not <laughs> going crazy? Because I think that you had it right and then you said the outside. And I'm like, oh. Well, it's because you have to it's you have to glue it one way and like I'll have to glue this one upside down. Right. Just like to make sure that. On the outside. Right. Now, okay. Here's <clears throat> here's also something I learned the hard way. I love R and D in my in the department. I need to get better R and D research and development for those of you not in the in the business world. Okay, so I have places where I want them, but I have to make sure that the the ends of the bridge here or the the poles support poles are holding this support. They all line up horizontally correctly on both sides and it's not really important except that you'll have to trim this otherwise your bridge would wobble and we can't have wobbly bridges right that no that sense. would be bad would our be adventurers bad. they would probably have to a roll a deck save to get over it and yada yada and we don't want to deal with that okay so i've placed these where i want them um, and i would normally use craft glue but i'm going to use my glue gun and glue gun. i love my glue gun triangle says I love that cutting that squares it up. Exactly. No, it's exactly right. I I love it too. <laughs> glue and cotton fixes wobbly. Yeah, <laughs> glue and cotton. I think cotton is just a like a, it's like duct tape for him. It is, it actually is. <laughs> <laughs> Who didn't mute their phone? I forgot to mute my phone. <laughs> Do you like my ringtone? Yeah, it's very reminiscent. I have no idea where you got that from. Channeling it was Nana Casey. Time. Tell Nana Casey to get on Twitch and stop calling me. Might already be, but um, and then she butt dialed. Oh, no, something. no, that was that was uh, real tranquil. Oh, you okay. Said, he said I'm calling. Don't call. Stop. Everyone, stop calling me. Oh no, no. He said I'm calling over and over now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I'm muting my phone. <laughs> I oh, just love oh, that. Oh, crap! My... Is my muted? Yes, it is. Good. <laughs> yeah, I better not yell at me. Now, see, you made me mess up. Oh no. Nana Casey's in big trouble, mister. Okay. <laughs> Actually, you know what? The stick is longer. I've been racking my brain trying to line that up and it's just longer. <laughs> That's so funny that that- Redo? Huh? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I didn't glue it, so we're, we're cool, oh, okay, we're cool, we're cool. All right. Oh, you're about to glue it. No. What are you I was saying we're cool. What have you been drinking? That's okay. I'm uh, gonna go get some wine after that. In this and, and gun? Bourbon barrel pour? Yum. Yeah, it's not bad. We better make this a fast stream. I know, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> At the end of it, we're sloshy. Yeah, slosh. Okay, so, it, see? Look, ta-da! Ta oh. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I even made one, I made one ahead of time in case I messed up on those. <laughs> and, and I didn't, so now I can use the bigger bridge. <laughs> Whee! This is like the 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 oven in the. And this is the oven, yeah, the bit and the I. The oven joke, I, but executed properly this time. Yeah. And I wasn't included. No. You just shouldn't include me in your jokes from that one. And, uh, in well, but now it's becoming not funny because we're explaining it. So. So there's these two muffins. Speaking yeah, there's the. Oven. Hey, speaking of Billy and the muffin. Yeah, right, right. So there were these two muffins. Okay, so now. Our clothespins, this is where they come in handy. We better hurry, because I don't want to miss the fireside chat tonight either. All right, look at this. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. A, a crafting hobby horse. It, exactly. Okay, this. <laughs> the one muffin looked at the other. Okay, the all right, Billy. <laughs> no, it's Silverwing. Oh, is it? He knows the joke. <laughs> I'm so excited about my new patron. Billy, you're just, I adore you. I love and adore you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so that's where we want to be. It's a little crooked, but you know it's Feywild, so yeah, maybe that, some fairy tricksters hard. have uh, messed up the bridge. We're gonna glue these on. Normally, I would use um, the craft bond, but I'm gonna <laughs> actually use the glue gun. Oh, the muffin joke! <laughs> <laughs> this whole stream is gonna get turned into the, it, the whole. Joke. The whole stream is good. Yeah, that that's it, folks. We're out. <laughs> Just wipe our hands of this one. Yeah, wipe. That's it. We're done. Let's go watch Fireside <laughs> Chat. Okay, let me push this a little closer. There's not life in the 
I know, I know. We're gonna, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Okay. So see, I've lined up my pieces of wood on here, or one piece of wood on here, to, to see how the distance I want. And hopefully, ooh, let me go get a figure. Ooh, a figure. Who shall I? I'll get Perrin and Ronan walking across the bridge together. Ronan Ma Michael, Perrin Michael, standing on a bridge. There you go. Michael Mortar painted this for me. That's my parent. I love him so many. Okay, so there's Perrin. And he, normally he'd say, you first, milady, but she's metal, so I'm not putting her on there. He's plastic, so he can go on. So, yep, yeah, like two minis can get across there, side by side. Abreast, as it were. <laughs> I, I wish I had a camera on you, because of that look. <laughs> no. I have a voice. I have a face for radio. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna. The reason why I'm putting him here in the center is if you start at this end and things go south or east, then it may not match perfectly. You want to put these two first. Real quick, we'll make sure the beer caps fit snug. The beer caps fit snug. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, because he uses beer caps right. as his base. So yeah, um, that's a good point. Uh, so you can make this as wide as you want. I chose this this width for my Feywild bridge. Obviously, just get cut bigger sticks, uh, and maybe put another brace under there. Depends on how it works out. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this onto these these sections here and here because, like I said, then you know you've got your distance, and then all the subsequent pieces of wood glue guns dry very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> you better make sure that you have. Your pieces in place where you want them or. You may be prying glue off of them. There we go. Oop, let's turn that. There we go. Okay. And that's the start of the bridge. And we're just going to keep gluing these on. And I'm gonna actually uh, cheat, cause I can. Pull out a halfway finished bridge. No, I, I don't need. I don't need 18 bridges to go my way wild. <laughs> you never know. It's giveaway stuff. That's true. That's true. Someone else could. Things turn east. Made me laugh too hard. People looking at me funny here. <laughs> that silver wind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add these in now. Um, as as I'm going, I'll, I'll chit chat. What you could also do uh, on one of your let's say this bridge is has been uh, harmed by uh, the nefarious creatures of your Feywild, and uh, maybe there's a, a piece of wood that uh, has broken through a piece of log. Maybe some water splashed up and it rotted, or a heavy creature crossed the bridge and broke it. And uh, you can make that happen. I wouldn't make it happen once it's glued. I would do that <laughs> prior to the case. I'm having to look at this from a distance here. I uh, hope I don't. So I'm gonna actually, I am gonna put one that's broken in there. Let's just snap one in half and, oh no, it's broken. <laughs> and I'm going to <laughs> glue that. I glued it off screen, I'm so sorry. Oh, look, that came crashing in, and I angled it downward, because, you know, brid bridges crash downward, not upward. Well, stay well. A kraken could come out of that pond, <laughs> and <laughs> that just, pond? just, just, out of that river, the kraken. The... Well, <laughs> you know. A baby kraken, maybe. Aww. That Isn't would that be cute? so cute? It's still a monster. I need to find another little mini stick. They actually have, you know, baby beholders. They're still bad. Aww. Still can do that. Okay. Oh, see, no, I'm better. Look, and um, glue guns, I love them, but they do produce these little—I call them spider webs or little hairs and stuff. What was that? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Okay, and um, for the other side, since I'm going to say that the brace did not break, it was the center that broke. I'm just going to look at me and I'm so strong I just rolled a strength nope just failed that strength check <laughs> you know what that just looks too perfect I'm just gonna have to tear some off there 
I just had my nails done today and now I'm ruining them. <laughs> okay, there. That's better. Okay, so some big giant thing obviously crossed this bridge or tried to cross it and caused some damage there. We must get the construction crew back out to... Yeah, the, the Feywild... Uh... Wait, hold on. Yeah, what could they be called? Um, well, their acronym has to be good too, so... Well, yeah, think of something. Whoopsie. Well, how about uh, FTW? Oh, Feywild no! Tinkering workers? No, it's Ooh! Good. Sounds like goblins. It does. I mean, gnomes. My uh, support came up because I used a glue gun. I like glue guns because they're fast, but they just don't support like real glue does. Okay. So there we go. We're going to just continue on both sides. To get between uh, these two pieces, measure. Measure twice, cut once. And I'm, you know guessing because that's what I do because <laughs> I have lots of sticks here and I'm just gonna clip off and there you go jam it in there it's all good there's my Georgia come out in <laughs> real triangle I, rep I represent that remark yeah <laughs> all right let's get one there right about there Huh. There we go. All the way down. What time is it? Yeah, it is. 7.27. Okay. We are definitely... We're on track here? On track, yes. Good. Okay. And these don't have to be perfectly lined up either, you know. They... This is a handiwork of many fake creatures. Who knows what, who, what built these? Who, what built this bridge? I'm just gonna do the one side and then I will show you the painting tick. Well, not the, not the painting, I'll do, well, I don't know. I should, do I do the painting first or the, I'll do the moss, I'll do the moss. Oh, look at that piece. That's not good. That doesn't match up at all. I'm taking that one off. You know what? I can turn off this old studio mode thing and actually see better. Since we're not, you know. I can't. I can't see what you're doing over there anymore. No, it's fine, yeah. Yeah, and speaking of that, I know uh, if you have questions, please ask. I cannot see the, the, the screen. The if Twitch chat. Chats. I cannot see if chat. If you have questions about what she's doing, ask away and I will do my best to relay them. If it's something not related to the stream, we can ask at the end, or I'll ask them at the end. Um, but I'll save those questions for the end. Yeah, but I mean, please, I'm, I'm not if, I'm not ignoring you, of course. I, I want I want everyone to, to chat and have fun and, and be a part of the stream. Uh, Drake will definitely relay any questions to me or comments, and I will be happy to answer anything. If you have any questions, Okay, so I have finished <laughs> the, the two in, uh, inner parts, which is what I wanted to do. And you glued all that. I did, but it's just done with a glue gun, and honestly, if I wanted to, I could pop any one of these off right now. Glue guns just don't support these as well as a good... Uh, uh, this stuff. I cannot talk today. I don't know what's wrong. Is that a super glue? Is that gorilla glue? Craft, it's craft bond, bond. It's like a bond. Yeah, <laughs> craft bond. Craft well, bond. I told you I couldn't talk today. It is um, regular <laughs> all-purpose glue, all but this is the craft version of it, and I think it's a little uh, thicker. Okay. So it definitely um, holds a little, a little better. Good, you got your into dust. Yes. After yes. this is finished, I have a thousand questions about crafting and I want to ask between 8 and 9 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> no! I have to go watch the fireside chat. Did you not hear my ringtone? Okay, so I'm going to water down... Wait, did I say moss? I said moss. 
Yeah, you did say moss. Okay. What I meant to say was I'm going to get my moss. <laughs> And I'm going to just apply it along, I would say most moss would grow on the underside. Maybe here. creep up in. Too. Creep up in. Too. Oh, yeah. Good call. I'm getting rid of all these little spider web thingies. <laughs> no, leave them. Glue. Uh, fa face spiders. Face spiders. There you go. Um, but, again, using all this stuff I have left over from my shambling mound, I'm just going to kind of tear some pieces off and glue them on as I go. And just miscellaneous here and there, and I am gonna use my craft bond for this because. No, uh, you know, okay, the um, doing the glue, the hot glue. Mhm. Mm that was a pretty fast way to do it. And can you do it just as quickly with the craft bond glue? I can, um, but I it would sit, we would sit here and watch grass grow. Well, right, but what I'm saying is, is um, or, or what I was getting at, I guess, was could you go back and. And actually, real frank with faith, we just asked the same thing about to ask. Um, can you go like flip that upside down, or and maybe reinforce and it? Reinforce it with the glue. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. You can cover a lot of that with moss if you wanted, right? Well, the nice thing about this is it goes on with the. Um, it looks white when it goes on, but it, it dries clear. Oh, all right. So that's Perfect. not that's not the problem. It's mostly the drying time. See, this hot glue just does not. Oh, like, and that just fell right off. Yeah. yeah, it just doesn't hold uh, hot glue, doesn't hold the wood as, as well. That could, that could actually be a really good thing to have as like a Patreon thing or even just a general thing that is like on your Discord or something. Mm -hmm. Like a list of what kind of glues go with what kind of materials and, um, you know, what, 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 what works and what doesn't when kind yeah. of certain things happen. Like a glossary. Right. Crafting glossary. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. That, that is a good helpful. idea. Okay, so I've used some some there, and I'm just going to use the regular craft bond to do that. And you could use, I don't know, I've got some, here's some reindeer moss. Here's some uh, Spanish moss. All of this grows in my Feywild. <laughs> All the moss. All the moss. Okay, so I'm just going to do it to one side. So we can get under the Oh, that's a cool looking piece. It's like a Oh like a tendril. Yeah, a tendril. I'll have that actually coming up maybe through this little part that they uh, just, like it grew up instead. Like it grew up through that crack. <laughs> right there. Downtime is essential with crafting with any kind of blue window thing. Yeah, it <laughs> is and it is, that's right. Whoever commented that was, that on that. Frankly. Yes, that's it's, that that is why Real Tranquil always has like four different projects going at once. Yeah, he does. Okay, so I'll put some over here. I'm just gonna, like I said, do the one side so we can get onto the the painting. Yay! Yay. Yeah. And actually, this is a fun painting because this is um, it's I call it staining. So it, it it not only goes on easy, but it dries really fast also. Okay. So this bridge is gonna be half moss. Yep. Okay, so here's some of this. I didn't get that. If that was a joke. I was supposed to be a, you know, half moss. Half, half, half moss. Enjoying that beer? Yeah. I'm loving it. <laughs> loving it. Okay, so. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, oh, you know what? I think I'll put this underneath. Like, like barnacles. <laughs> From that Kraken. <laughs> what? SpongeBob? Jeez. <laughs> it could be. Ah, oh, barnacles. There. Oh, that looks so cool. It does look cool. The other problem with the glue gun, you can see not only does it uh, have the spiders, but you can see the shiny in there. Oh, can you? It's a little hard to see for me. Okay. And that, unless you cover it with something else, that'll that'll show. Now okay. it's not. Yes, it's on the underside, but I am of the mindset that it should look good at every angle. Right. So obviously, I'm going to add. Well, I'm going to add so, the rest. So of when it. your players go to pick up the bridge and turn it upside down, it looks well. Fantastic. There could be maybe there's. An accident happened and it tumbled over, and we want it to look nice on that other side. Or maybe your terrain is actually a you know sky level or oh, something, so it's, the bridge is it's hanging. It's on there hanging. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Who would do that in their campaign? Twist has suggested you could cover the Chinese with moss. Yes, and and I would, except, and that's a great idea for the limited 
uh, times I would put a hot, I would use a hot glue, but when I used it for the entire thing, I'd be covering all this with moss, right, and that yeah. kind of takes away from. Uh, but yeah, I've covered it some here, definitely. Thank you. Alton. I think you should leave off the handrails. OSHA wasn't around in every village. That it could be, <laughs> could be what happened. Handrails are easy. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll use the glue gun for this just to show you how it's done. Uh, I would definitely use Elmer's glue. Now is that are those handrails generally the uh, height to, to scale with with the players? Nope. This one's well. It's more of a holding it up here. You know what? You could cut it down to size. Sure. I oh, that's fair. left it big enough to, to cut down, but I'll tell you what happens when you go to cut something down, when it's already been glued on, it probably will snap off. <laughs> I'll never find that. Yeah, I was going to say, I heard it land over here somewhere. Oh! Yep, see, look, it came off. Yeah. But I knew it would, and I can just glue well, it right back Well, that's something that you can plan ahead for. You can measure, Yeah. you know, the height of... Uh... Well, th I, I did measure, but obviously... Um, it was too too high for. I could use a glue gun for that again. No. <laughs> it's like stacked with glue in there. Oh yeah, because we, we keep having to re-glue it. Keep having to re-glue it, yeah. Uh, Twist had a suggestion that you could make it more mysterious by ah. making low-hanging moss so you can't see under it. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Unless it's low to the water, then rushing water, or unless it's stagnant water. Or if it is rushing, you it may away. have the moss hanging down, but any that would touch the board have it going in the direction. Oh know, yeah, like it's that would work. Flowing in the, yeah. So that is a lower. There, that's that's a better. Better height. Better so height. It's a little tough for us. Let but. me, yeah, let me do it this. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's about well, it's around waist level, I think. Okay. If I, I mean, it's hard to tell from the angle, but that's yeah, that's good. Well, you wouldn't have to roll a deck save to get over that, <laughs> so we're all right. But now my bridge is completely lopsided. I've got one side that's way up there. Oh, uh, well, that's fine. And Chaku, hello, says, how would you add a burn or dried blood mark like in Skyrim? You know, <laughs> I have not played enough of Skyrim to see that. I would have to look that up also. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, uh, Twisted would probably be able to answer it. Where, uh, but... where, where do you want this blood? Who died? <laughs> where do we want the blood? I don't have any red paint with me or I'd do it. Would you add a and my gaffer's not here. Blood oh, you know what you could do? <laughs> yeah. Let's say, let's say that you had a. Um, I, keep, I keep putting my hand in this glue over here. <laughs> let's say that you had a battle on this bridge, and you, you, your adventurer took his great axe and swung it at the beast, and blood splattered everywhere. Well, here's what you do. You do this outside, or mom will kill you. I'm the mom. <laughs> Right. And you take red paint or blood colored paint and you put put a bit on a wet brush and then you would do this. I'm not going to do it because I don't have red paint and this is not a blood spattered bridge. You would flick your finger like this at it with the paint. It's a very messy job. Oh yeah. And it will look like blood is spattering it. That's creative. That's how you can create a, a crime scene too, but you did not hear that from me. <laughs> right. Okay. So um, okay. we're going to use... Um, this real brown, it's called, oops, we're right side up again. I forgot. Yeah, we are. Yeah, what did I do? Oh. Okay. Okay. I, I, yeah. Are you enjoying this beer? I haven't even had anything <laughs> to drink yet. That's not, that's going to change after the stream. Okay, so I put some paint in there. This is just, it's gloss, but it's acrylic, and so water, you can add water to it. I'm just going to water it down a little bit. I wouldn't even say it's a one-to-one -one ratio. It's probably less water. Okay. And uh, give that a stir. I always stir with the other side. So it has the consistency of, I don't know. Muddy water? Mm, sure. <laughs> I don't know. Thick muddy water. Thick muddy water, okay. Okay. And actually, I could probably. The good stuff to play. Yeah. I could make it a little more watery, and I'll do that by just adding a water to my paintbrush and dripping it in there. Okay. So. This is kind of neat because you can just lay it on there and it just brushes it over like um, like stain. Oh, and yeah, you can still like see, instead of painting it, which you don't want to do. It should soak in and soak between. And, yes. Yeah. And not just that, but you can still see the wood, the natural wood marks. Oh yeah, look at that. On the on the pieces of wood that we split. I'm digging the hole, by the way. That's, that's you good. like that? Yeah. 
Now, here's something else that you can do. Take some black paint or just a darker shade of brown. And once this is dry, because if you just go over it again while it's still wet, it won't, it won't work as well. But once this paint is dry on, on all of it, you would take it and run it kind of up the middle. Oh, like it's more dark. That's more, exactly. You would make that part darker, and then it would be like it's more heavily traversed. Gotcha. Okay. So I like, I like that idea. Um, I did not do it with this one. There. Now <laughs> We'll see how that it's, looks like. it's It's brown. I should have used black, but I can go back. That's, that's no big deal. Uh, if you get too much on there before it dries, you can take a paper towel and rub it similar to how you would you would paint with stain or you would uh, stain something and just rub it off. And it's just going to soak into the wood. And then if you don't use enough, make another layer. Okay. But you don't want to lose that, that natural wood look to it. I mean, if, if you're going to do that, you might as well use popsicle sticks. Right. No point. So that's, that's why I chose to use the split, the split logs to make it look more like uh, they split logs to make this bridge. Look, I have more, more braces. I can make I another bridge. Ooh. Real tranquil said, I need to see how the heck you split those sticks in half long ways. I did. Didn't you see me? I showed you. It, he... Where were you during the stream, Jamie? <laughs> Who knows? I know. No, you. you oh, uh, for that though, he just said toothpicks. For what? Um, I assume he means for uh, the steps across. The steps across. Oh. Or yeah, the the the, the half logs. Where you walk. Oh. Toothpicks. That's not why. I don't know. I don't know. He said toothpicks. You'll have to take a picture or draw something, Jamie, and show me on Twitter what you mean by that, because I'm confused. Maybe he's had a beer too. Maybe he's had a beer or three. <laughs> okay, so, 15 minutes. We've added our moss. We've added our hand railing. We're going to get rid of these little spider thingies, unless we have Feywild spiders. I'm going to lower this handrail. You. you do? Yeah, Feywild spider. Well, now you'll invent them. Okay. Okay, so I've sealed that <laughs> up. All right. So... Quickly, I'll tell you what's going on. Uh, in two weeks, I am starting the stream weekly. Yay! I am so excited about that. I wanted to wait till I got to a certain number of, of followers on Twitch and Patrons. But you know what? I love doing this so much, sharing all these craft ideas with the D&D community that I, I'm just gonna go weekly and mom, whoever watches, watches, right? Yeah, exactly. And I appreciate all the support I get. Um, the retweets, I got a, a bunch of retweets today. Thank you guys so much. I love it. Um, got the word out there for this stream. Hopefully it'll uh, get some more viewers in here. And um, I just, I love you guys. So thank you very much. Um, thanks once again to Drake for helping me out. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, well, I want to show him the in two weeks what I'm doing. I'm just right. rambling now. At this point, I'm just rambling. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so let me show you what's going to happen in two weeks. Like I said at the beginning, this Feywild bridge leads to Shade Merc. And Shade Merc looks dun dun dun. <laughs> I already showed him. It's not really that. It, this is kind of anticlimactic. Right, but. Um, there, how's that? Uh, it's kind of... There you go. Oh, Woohoo! Way, way back. Like that. And the, this, these are made out of styrofoam cups. Go get yourself a dollar sweet tea, large from McDonald's. I'll only make it unsweet. Or unsweet, whatever floats your boat. And then um, I used popsicle sticks as a brace and paper towels to make it sort of the mesh part. Paint, dowel rods, I'll post everything. I am gonna change the color to my Feywild colors. Let me get my Feywild colors back up here. Cause All right. we gotta do that. There we go, oh, there we go. And I am gonna replace all this. I don't like these at all. These have to go. I did have light, oh, paper plates too. Check out the inside of that. Can you see that? That's a oh, paper yeah. plate in there. Yeah. Once I get rid of all this. You, you can, can see, see the flower from the original paper plate. Like yeah. Designer would... Well, if these mushrooms turn upside down, you have bigger worries than there's the fact that there's a paper plate yeah. underneath there. You've got some Titan turning your world upside down. Yeah, but there's a lot of sticks for support in there. You can see that right there. Um, this, this is a, a large cup this here. This is a low carb mushroom village. It is. It's very low. Low carb. And um, which way was it? This way. I've got, this one has, I can't turn this one 
upside down, but I can't, well, I can do it sideways. It has a, a hanging bridge across. Are you going to do that as well? As... I am going to, this is a stream that's going to happen over the course of several weeks. Okay. So, the, so in, on the 21st of August, it will be um, just the basic forming, terraforming. We're going to call it terraforming. Okay. Yep. And it's just going to be getting the, the pieces in place that you want for your, um, your village and you know collecting all the things that you'll need honestly styrofoam cups paper towels and uh popsicle sticks and some of the thicker popsicle sticks too like uh yeah, these are the one inch the dark. one inch thick ones uh you could paint them with glow in the dark paint oh. yes what i also have found and my wonderful nephew got me a package of these last time we played D&D is the strip lighting that changes color right the people put behind their monitors yeah and i did have lights underneath these yeah, i was gonna say real quick we'll mention that a second ago yeah but i t they were falling out and didn't look they were too glowy white okay yeah. and in mine i want it to be more subtle maybe like a, a a purple like i've got going here so um so i took them out but they did have i did have like uh those battery powered lights underneath here right slowly destroying this as i talk <laughs> Um, but that's all right because I'm going to redo it with the different, the different greenery on there. So any questions or or comments? I know this is a short stream, but I promised I wasn't going to keep you. Everyone's probably so excited to go here. Yeah, we still have uh, a, a good couple of minutes. Yeah. To, uh, for questions. Or Definitely. For comments. Mood mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Don't. Uh, well, that'll be an after dark series. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this one. This one has. I love this. Is there a way to detach that bridge? Yes, yeah, there just, is. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like just hanging making there. things miserable. I know. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. It would take too much power. But if you see underneath there, paper plate, cardboard support, cup. But you see those wooden pieces in there? Oh, those two big Or not too big. Uh, Pop popsicle, popsicle sticks. The wide ones. The one yeah, inch yeah, wide yeah. ones. And I pushed them in. There, which way's up? This that, way's, that up. way's up. I pushed them in and glued them, and then I covered them with the paper towels. Now, if you're gonna go out and get the supplies for this, because you wanna, I know you wanna follow along. Don't get any paper towel. Get the cheap ones. <laughs> don't get any paper towel that has like Bounty written on it or any other name brand, because otherwise you might have Bounty written on here. Right, or you, the little pattern of the. Well, the pattern's okay because you can kind of hide that as bumps on a mushroom. Right. But okay. the word bounty might be harder to, right. uh, or whatever brand you use. That bridge appears to not be glue gun. Yeah, no, <laughs> this bridge is heck. not glue gun. It is glued with real craft glue. Now, uh, my um, one of my friends on Twitter, V from the Crafting Muse, love her. She has a really cool design for a a ladder, uh, a rope bridge going across. And I might steal her idea. I'll ask her if it's okay. I don't think she'll mind. Uh, using wire instead. I used jute for this. Okay. But she's got one with wire that looks really cool. And I'm not going to use... Uh, these are wood popsicle sticks. They're really thin ones. Oh, yeah. Like coffee stirs. Yeah. I'm actually going to use more... Dun, 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 of these. Oh, uh, the same stuff? The same the stuff bridge. I used for the bridge. So okay. go out and collect those twigs. If you're expecting a monsoon season, you might want to go get them early <laughs> so that they're not soaking wet like mine where I had to sit in the garage for a week and uh, and have these ready to and already split. We'll use those. They don't, I guess they don't have to be split, but now nah, I want them split. <laughs> and we'll uh, we'll use her technique to attach them with the wire, which gives them a little more sturdiness. Okay. Uh, but we will well, use... Well, we just saw that was sturdy as heck a minute ago. Well, you can see this one's kind of coming apart. But yes. Oh, I see. Because okay. I used a twine, like a jute. Yeah, I, I, think, I guess a, a fabric or a textile? A textile, textile yeah. A uh, rope or whatever would deteriorate. Yeah. Well, and I faster. yanked this from the other. This was actually attached. Where was it? On this side right here. Oh. <laughs> and I yanked it off because I was going to do something and I forgot what it was. And then it attached over to this one. Like that. And then I had another little one with little fungi sticking on it. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'll let you go. Thank you once again, everybody. I really appreciate you joining me for Kajari's Curious Crafts. And I will see you on August 21st with the Mushroom Village. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh...
Um, alrighty, yeah, we're gonna switch over to the other king. <clears throat>